juice is loose. Wait, hold on. Am I recording? What the f- <laughs> I don't know what. I don't know what I was recording. Oh, what the f- <laughs> Why does that look purple? Blue? That's supposed to be purple. Give me a minute. Orange? That looks better, I guess. That looks light. Trying to get an orange color. Oh, jeez. None of the purples work. <laughs> I'm trying to make this. I'm trying to make this thematical. Right, there we go. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, uh, I need to get more RGB lights. Anyway, uh, <laughs> sorry, it's been a while since I've posted. Oh, holy crap! It's been five days. Uh, I've just been busy. Life's been. Bleh. Anyway, um, shoot, I, um, this is my late, very late review on the Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice movie, and I, I enjoyed it very well. Um, if you aren't a fan of the last one, you're not going to be a fan of this one, I'm just going to tell you that right now, but, uh, it, I, I enjoyed it a lot, I had a lot of fun gags, had a lot of, um, they did a lot of creative things with it, uh, let's see here, Keegan-Michael Key, killed it because they showed a lot more Beetlejuice than in the first movie. Because I think in the first movie he had like, what, 25, 30 minutes total out of like a two hour movie. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen the first one, but I, I enjoy that movie very much. Um, so they, um, it's kind of like shot into the future. All right. And uh, yeah, hold on one minute. <clears throat> All right. Where was I? Uh, right, all right. The movie takes place in the future. Um, uh, oh, what's the girl's name? I forgot the girl's name. <laughs> I tell you how much I pay attention. But she has grown up. She has a daughter now. The father is not ex like gone. We don't have any explanation for him yet. Uh, let's see. Her father has passed on, and her mother and her are just kind of going through the motions. They're a very dysfunctional family. And the main girl is running a paranormal, uh, like a paranormal investigation show, and she's making money, but she's having problems communicating with her family until she learns that her father has passed away. So, so she grabs her daughter, her mother, and they go up, and they go into the old, they go to the old house from the first movie to uh, mourn the loss of their father. And. Um, the story just kind of ensues from there. I, I'm trying to avoid spoilers as best as I can, but uh, because I'm not, I'm not the best at reviewing movies, I'm doing like Donald Trump hand signs. <laughs> but um, I, I do enjoy a lot of the set pieces they offer uh, that we show. Um, oh, I just ain't on like a whole pizza. Man, ugh. Fine, okay, fine. I keep being sidetracked. Um, I. I do like that Willem Dafoe's in the movie. He's funny to watch. I like the character he plays. He's very goofy. He um he plays like this like other world like spirit cop, but to him he doesn't play the role of a cop. He's an actor. He wants like okay I, I messed up on that. <laughs> he is a cop, but he doesn't want to think he's a cop. He's an actor playing a cop because he's like obsessed with playing the role, and it's so fun to watch him. He doesn't get a lot of screen time, but I think it's enough. Um, and then they introduce Danny DeVito, who gets like five, six minutes of screen time before he is by the main villain, and who turns out to be Beetlejuice's love interest. Like his past love interest when he was alive, and they actually do get into Beetlejuice's, you know, backstory, and I kind of like it. But the thing is, they don't explore the main villain very much. She has a really cool intro, but it just, I feel like they didn't know how to use her throughout the movie, and they just, like, they kind of built her up, didn't use her, 
And during like the last bit of the movie, they just just nothing. I like actually just kind of get rid of her with a snap of a finger. I was really disappointed by it because they were setting her up for like something big. I thought there was gonna be like a big kind of like ghost demon esque fight going on, kind of like goofy, cartoonish stuff. You know how Beetlejuice is. He's a trickster demon. It just didn't do anything with her, and I was really disappointed with it. They could have done so much better. Other than that, like, I don't really have a problem with the movie. I'd probably go watch it again. It's just that I enjoyed everything up until the end. The end just felt so rushed, and I was just kind of let down. And they, they added something near the end that I just I didn't approve of. Like, it just felt unnecessary, and they just kind of threw it in there. It was really weird. You have to see the movie yourself. But um, other than that, I didn't, I really did like it. Sounds sounds like a freaking Penguin Zero video, <laughs> just repeating the same thoughts over and over again. And this is the best I can do after five whole days. My gosh, I need I need to edit. I need to edit things. <laughs> but what? Okay, so another thing I did like. I'm just gonna I want to keep rambling on. Um, was uh, I like how they did the sandworm. The sandworm was cool, still claymated it, and I, I really like that aspect of it. And that's pretty much all I have to say. I'm going to be watching more movies. I'm going to start posting a little more frequently. This is, last week has just been hectic. So, all right, thank you all so much for watching. Um, go watch Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I, I think it's a fun time. Not like the best movie, but not the worst. It's just a fun waste of time, you know, fun to laugh at. And uh, you all have a happy Halloween. All right, everybody. Later. Oh, what am I voice?